Hi, Julia Watts here. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be uh, making a little A6 card with some fairy hook stamps and one of the big backgrounds from Sentiment of Yours. So to start off, uh, what I've already done is I've got an A6 card blank here and this is out of the Super Smooth Watercolour card from Sentimentally Yours and I want to do some masking and I want my focal point to be the lovely sunflower stamp from uh, Fairy Hugs. So I'm going to stamp that first because I want that, that's what the piece I'm going to mask off. So we're going to our stamping platform and I've got um, the low tack tape all the way around the edge it just just slightly off the edge so that makes me my frame so I'm going to keep a nice clean area um, around it so I don't really need my magnets because I've got excess of the um, tape around the edge keeping that in place so let's take our sunflower and we're going to stamp that in the middle and I think I'm going to do in fact we're going to do it just down there I think so we can have a sentiment above or we can have it yeah we have it down here decisions decisions and I normally do stamp it in uh, brown but I think we're going to go for black this time the nocturne versus fine clair nice juicy ink pad you will find all the fairy hook stamps on my website juliawattscrafts.co.uk I only ship to UK addresses so if you uh, are living outside the UK uh, you can get them at fairyhooks.com uh, and you know they do have some um, other stockists worldwide but in the UK I'm the only um, stockist Stamped. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely stunning stamp. Stretch that off. And then what we'll do is we will mask that off. Let's fetch this out of the platform first. We're kind of going to make ourselves like a bit of a collage um that's the theory anyway so it's in my head so hopefully it'll work out if it doesn't this video might not see the light today <laughs> so i've got a mask here now i didn't bother i did originally bother making the mask with the leaves as well but um it was too they were too kind of spindly so i ended up cutting them off uh, and when you do your mask, this is a piece of masket sheet from Woodware. You want to cut slightly, ever so slightly, on the inside of the lines. So that when you do all the other bits and pieces over the top, that um, you haven't got kind of gaps between your images. If you were going to multi-stamp, for example, the sunflower, like I did in this sample here I've multi-stamped and I've um, gone over the top uh, you know overlapped them um, so if you if your mask was had gap you know if you cut it exactly on the line or outside the line rather than inside then you'd have gaps between your sunflowers and you don't want that so now we're going to do a little bit of um, inking so I'm going to use the the Orbs Fairy Hugs stencil. And we're going to go for a bit of Salty Ocean Distress Ink. I'm going for Distress Ink rather than Oxide because I want to stamp over the top and I personally prefer to stamp over the top of Distress Inks rather than Oxides. So a little bit of Salty Ocean over the top. up that is the danger 
the brushes are a lot better than the um, the blending um, tools. Um, it doesn't tend to lift the mask quite so much. So there we go. It's a really cool stencil. Really cool stencil. It kind of makes your mind go a little bit. So that would be lovely just on its own. You know, obviously we'd be lift, lifting the mask off and we'd see that and that would be lovely on its own. But what I thought we'd do is go one step further. I might regret it. As I say, it's, it's an idea that's in my head. And I'm going to use the Sentimentally Yours big background, the vintage script, and I'm going to put script over the top as well. I might not want, I might have only wanted to do the stencil and I might have only wanted to do the stamp. I might not really want to do both, but we'll, we'll try it and see. It's all about the layers, all about the layers. I am going to, because I know what I'm like, I am going to ink the whole stamp. In fact, I am also going to put a piece of paper underneath so I don't have a mess to clean up. Because I'm a bit lazy like that, I don't like cleaning up. So yes, I know what I'm like and I, and I, and I never kind of, if I only do part of the stamp, a bit of glitter on there, if I only do part of the stamp, you can bet that I want to stamp the bit that I haven't inked. You can kind of put money on that. So I'm using Morning Mist, which is a grey versifying clay, and I'm hoping that I don't mess this up. Because I do like it just with the stencil. <laughs> but, you know, let's just go for it. And remember, I'm still all masked off, which is fine. I want to be kind of straightish if I can be. And give it a press. I'm not too worried if it's not perfect. Just want to get some more texture going on in the background. Actually, I have missed a bit there. I wonder if I forgot to ink that. But it's fine. It's fine. We'll reveal, do the reveal in a minute. Because I think that's all the stamping we want to do. So I've got to be quite careful because obviously the ink on the masking um, is uh, wet. Pull that away. And take this one off next, I think. I think I'm going to get away with that because I've actually missed a bit. I, I actually quite like it. So I've got those nice clean edges. Unless I stick my fingers in it. And we can take away that and we've got, yeah, that works. I'm very happy with that. Put my mask back on again. Obviously, I can use my mask again and again and again until it's, um, it's all worn out. So now we're going to add a little bit of colour to this. Just a little bit. And I am thinking about... Uh, friends in the Ukraine who are really suffering at the moment so so obviously we've got blue in the background and we're going to bring in obviously the yellow for the sunflower so you see it doesn't really matter with the leaves that I didn't actually mask that off because it's such a fine area um, so I'm going for watercolor, watercolor blending brush pens this is set one and it's really easy just to add a little bit of color to it to the sunflower you don't I mean you don't have to be um, a, a really exceptional colorist although exceptional colorists are going to make a fantastic job of this um, stamp but you can see I'm just going for it the thing about these pens is that it has that wonderful fine tip and it's very easy to color in I'm going to just do this this bright yellow first and then I'm going to add a little bit of a, a mustardy yellow as well because you can see that we've got the lines on the stamp which are giving us a kind of idea of where we can add shading. So 
very therapeutic his colouring. These watercolour blending brush pens, these are my original set that I've had for uh, over two years and they're still going strong, still going strong. Such good value for money. I've got a few sets left on my website, not many, but a few. They are my pen of choice because they're just so easy to use. And the colour range is, is really good too. You don't have to have used um, the watercolour card, but I just find that things move around on the watercolour card a lot better. So now we're going to swap for, uh, I'm going to go into set four, and I'm going to use um, some of the mustardy coloured ones. See if this one's dark enough. I'm going to go for the dark one. I'm just going to add a little bit of colour to where the, the lines are. Again, not really. Obviously, I'd probably take my time a little bit more if I wasn't doing this in front of a camera. But not, not much more, to be honest. is quite easy to do so just where the lines are i'm adding this darker color which i'm not sure if you'll pick up on the camera but in daylight we'll be able to see it a bit more i think that's where i started yeah We'll add some flour and then just add in one of the browns. Go for set three and add the browns to the centre because the seeds are normally brown, aren't they? In fact, let's not just faff around, let's just do it quite quickly. I mean, you could add your glossy accents to the centre, which would be rather lovely. And then one of the kind of mustardy, uh, not mustard, or olive greens from set four, or set one rather, just to add a little bit of green to the sunflower leaves. Like so. That's all the colouring we need. And for a sentiment, I've just got a little strip of um, watercolour card that's been left over from doing some matting, matting and layering. And this is Fairy Whispers, uh, which has got um, seven individual stamps on it. On fairy hooks and it's just big enough for you to kind of pop a sentiment on so we'll have thinking of you today because we i think we certainly are and again i'm just going to free stamp that freehand in the black right towards the side hopefully i've got it straight give the ink a chance to settle in and we can have that perhaps i'll map that onto a bit of black card as well not very good at cutting straight <laughs> Not very good at cutting straight at all. This is the only bit of black card we've got on here, but it's fine because we've stamped in black as well, so it won't it won't jar too much. Is that wide enough now? We're gonna have to go up here. I would 
normally give that chance to dry a bit more. That's what this is. See if I can see what I'm doing. Somebody once told me that you need to look where you're going rather than right where you are when you're cutting, trying to cut straight. That works. So we just put that on flat. There you go. Really simple card to create using the fairy hugs, um, sunflower, one of the fairy whispers, the orbs stencil in the background, and then a little bit of the sentimentally yours um, script, vintage script, big background. Hope you've enjoyed that. Um, do have a look at my other videos. There's lots of, there's nearly 30 fairy hug videos. Uh, at the moment on my YouTube channel but there's lots um, from Studio Lights and, and Sentimentally Yours and Indigo Blue um, a couple of creative expressions on there so there's a few different videos for you to watch thank you very much for watching bye for now